Want to speak real Thai from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at thaipod101.com. Hi, welcome to Introduction to Thai. My name is Alicia, and I'm joined by. Hi, everyone. I'm Jay. In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of Thai pronunciation. Do you know that, like English, the Thai alphabet is divided into consonants and vowels? In Thai, there are 21 consonant sounds and 18 basic vowel sounds. By using all of these sounds, you can form every single word in Thai. Still seem complicated? Well, how about this? Of the 21 consonant sounds in Thai, you already know 18 of the original sounds. That's right. If you're a native English speaker, then you already make these sounds every day. You can also ignore 14 of the vowel sounds for the very same reason. So the only thing standing between you and perfect Thai pronunciation is three new consonant sounds and four new vowel sounds. Let's hear Jay pronounce the unique sounds of Thai. The new consonant sounds that you have to learn are R, J, and CH. And for the vowels, U, U, U. Uh. One big difference between Thai and English pronunciation is that all final consonants in Thai are unreleased. Take the previous example for love. Ra. Do you notice how air in the final K sound is not expelled? This is true for all final consonants in Thai words. If an English speaker were to attempt to say this, however, they would tend to say something like ruck. It's a natural habit to release the final consonant sound. Okay, let's listen again. Ra. Ra. How about this word, which means thinking in Thai? It will sound like this. Kit. Kit. So just keep in mind that the last consonant in a Thai word is always unreleased. Thai is a tonal language. That means two seemingly similar words, or ones that sound the same for Western learners, can have two completely different meanings, simply depending on their respective intonation. For example, Glai and Glai. Glai means far and Glai means near. The meanings are totally different, with a small change in the intonation. So just bear in mind that tone is just as important as spelling in Thai, as it can be used to distinguish the meaning of one word from another. Thai is comprised of five tones in total. Middle, low, falling, high, and rising tones. You need to learn the Thai tones because a word in Thai can mean different things when a different tone is applied. Mai, 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 mai. Middle, mai, mile. Low, my, new, rising, my, not or burning, high, my, wood or question word when asking, and falling, my, silk. So, as you can see, with different intonation, the meaning changes. To complete our introduction to the pronunciation lesson, I'll point out that the overall syllable must be spoken with the correct tone. There are no shortcuts to learning Thai tones. The only way is to practice speaking and listening to Thai regularly. Imitating words in different tones, like the one in this example, is a very useful way to practice. Well done! Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. In this lesson, you learned that Thai has 21 consonant sounds and 18 vowel sounds. Pronunciation of all final consonants in Thai is silent. And in Thai, tones are very important, as a similar word with a different tone can have a different meaning. We've covered only the basics of Thai pronunciation. If you're interested in learning more, check out our ultimate guide to Thai pronunciation. Hello guys, I'm Jay, and welcome to Top 25 Thai Phrases. Okay, now let's begin. Sawaddi. Hello. Sawaddi. Or in English, it means hello, like you use it every day with everyone you want to use it with. And when you do it with adults, you, you do like this. สวัสดี. 
or with friends like สวัสดีสวัสดี goodbye goodbye we also use the same word สวัสดี so when you going to separate from your friends or like teacher or your parents you can say like สวัสดีสบายดีไหม how are you when you meet a person or meet people Anyone like random people on the street, or even like your friends, your close friends, your parents, your teachers. Also, I said like สบายดีไหม How are you? สบายดี I'm fine. And when people ask you back like สบายดีไหม How are you? And you want to tell them like I'm fine. You say สบายดีฉันชื่อ My name is. ฉันชื่อ is My name is. You use it often, right? To introduce yourself, like, ฉันชื่อเจ My name is J. Is it, isn't it? ใช่ Yes. ใช่ In English, it is yes. Have you studied? You want to say yes? I have. You just say ใช่ไม่ No. Or you want to say no? You say ไม่ขอโทษ Sorry, when you do something wrong and you feel very, very sorry, you want to apologize to the person. You say, "ขอโทษ And if you do something wrong to people who are older than you, you can also do this and say, "ขอโทษ at the same time. "ขอโทษ ขอบคุณ Thank you. And when you feel like you want to say thank you to people, you say. ขอบคุณขอบคุณ Thank you. ไม่เป็นไร It's okay. ไม่เป็นไร means um it's okay. Like if people want to offer you something like okay do you want a, a coffee or you want tea and you said oh it's okay I don't I don't really want it you can say like ไม่เป็นไร Or maybe like sometimes you like you hurt yourself and people say like are you okay? You just say like no I'm fine. You can just say like ไม่เป็นไรอะไร What? This one I use often. What? You can say what? You said อะไรอะไรนะอะไรอะ If you want to be polite, you said like um นี่คืออะไรคะ Or you want it to be rude, you said อะไร <laughs> it's like same as like other languages, right? So it depends on your tone as well. ที่ไหน Where? ที่ไหนที่ไหน is where. When you want to ask for direction or like places, you you use this quite often. Like ที่ไหนเมื่อไร When? เมื่อไรเมื่อไร is like you want to ask when. When are you going to school? When is the lunch break? You use this like. เมื่อไรเมื่อไรคุณจะไปโรงเรียน means like when are you going to school ทําไม why okay why why like ทําไม yeah so it depends on your tone right and you want it to be like more of like a question you raise your tone up like ทําไมอ่ะทําไมยังไง how how ยังไงไปที่นี่ยังไงไปที่ยังไงอ่ะไปที่ยังไงคะ Mm, like you raise the tone up a bit. คุณพูดภาษาอังกฤษได้ไหม Do you speak English? คุณพูดภาษาอังกฤษได้ไหม Remember to raise the tone up at the end when it is a question. กี่โมงแล้ว What time is it? What time is it? กี่โมงแล้วกี่โมงแล้วตอนนี้กี่โมงแล้ว Like what time is it now? อยู่ที่ไหน Where is? อยู่ที่ไหน Where is it? Like, where are you now? คุณอยู่ที่ไหนตอนนี้ไปยังไง How do you go to? If you want to ask, how do you get to the train station in Thai? You might ask, จะไปสถานีรถไฟยังไงคะจะไปสถานีรถไฟยังไงครับอะไรนะ I beg your pardon. Actually, this. It's more of like what, right? I mean, but in a more polite way to say what you said. I beg your pardon. If you remember, "arai" means what, so you just put the word "na" to make the sentence softer, like "arai na," "hey arai na," for example. Yin di thi dai ru jak. Nice to meet you. Yin di thi dai ru jak na ka. 
ยินดีที่ได้รู้จักครับ Like nice to meet you. เท่าไร How much? This one is my favorite <laughs> because I go shopping quite often, so I use this one quite often as well. เท่าไรเท่าไร is how much this product, this goods, this clothes. You use this word like เท่าไรอันนี้เท่าไร Meaning how much is this? ลดหน่อยได้ไหม Can you lower the price? ลดหน่อยได้ไหมลดหน่อยได้ไหม Meaning can you lower the price? If you go to Thailand, you have to use this one definitely. ลดหน่อยได้ไหมคะ Make it a bit cuter. People will lower the price for you for sure. Believe me. ฉันคิดถึงคุณ I miss you. I always say these words to my friends <laughs> and um, like to like your family, like to everyone. Like, okay, so in Thai you say, ฉันคิดถึงคุณ For guys, you say. ผมคิดถึงคุณ I miss you. Nice, ha. Huh? <laughs> แล้วเจอกัน See you later. So when you are going with friends and you just like going to separate them, like going home, somebody is like, เจอกันนะแล้วเจอกันเจอกันนะคะแล้วเจอกันนะคะ Thank you, you guys, for watching. What is your favorite phrase so far? Okay. Anyway, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. And see you guys soon. Bye bye. Hello, welcome back to Top Words with me, Jay. Today we are learning ten ways to remember words. Okay, let's begin. การอ่านหนังสือเยอะๆโดยการอ่านหนังสือพิมพ์ช่วยให้ฉันจำคำศัพท์ได้ Reading as much as possible, especially the newspaper, helps me to remember words. True. I mean, but it doesn't have to be newspapers. For me, I love reading novels. So, by studying from reading something that you like, it's a good way to learn the language and improve your reading skill. ฉันจำคำศัพท์ใหม่ๆโดยยงกับเรื่องราวเกมหรือภาพยนตร์ I associate new words with stories, games, or movies. For example, the word. ไกลออกไกล The pronunciation is the same, but the intonation are different. So if you just read, you might not be able to remember how it will be used. But if you watch a movie and you see the real situation of how these words are used, then it will be easier for you to remember. ฉันพยายามคิดเป็นภาษาไทยเพื่อที่จะได้มีกระบวนการคิดเป็นภาษาไทยโดยธรรมชาติ I try to think in Thai, so it becomes natural to my thought process. I found out that by thinking in English is faster when I want to speak or communicate with people, and it's more natural. Like you don't have to translate back and forth. Don't translate inside here; it won't work. ฉันพยายามพูดกับเจ้าของภาษาให้บ่อยที่สุดเท่าที่ทําได้ I speak as often as possible with native speakers. Not many people learn Thai, so if you try to speak Thai to Thai people, I think they are more willing to talk in Thai back to you because we just love people who want to learn our language. ฉันพยายามใช้คำใหม่ๆในประโยคง่ายๆเพื่อจะได้เรียนรู้ทั้งประโยคไม่ใช่แค่คำใดคำหนึ่ง I try to use the new word in a simple sentence so I learn whole phrases not just individual words for example um, what what should I give an example on um, ฉันรักสุนัขของฉัน I love my dog yeah so love is not visual and you might not be able to Remember that love in Thai is r a k By forming a sentence, now you understand everything as a whole. ฉันพยายามใช้ภาษาที่เรียนอยู่เป็นประจำในชีวิตประจำวัน I try to use the language I'm learning routinely in the context of daily life. One way to help you use it regularly. <laughs> In a daily basis, is 
having a boyfriend, a girlfriend, using that language. For example, if you're learning Thai, try to find Thai girlfriend, Thai boyfriend, then yeah, <laughs> it helps. ฉันพูดคำศัพท์ออกมาดังๆเพื่อให้ตัวเองได้ยิน I say words out loud so that I can actually hear them. It helps with your pronunciation, intonation, speaking skill in general. So that when you read or say words or sentences out loud, you you hear what has gone wrong with your speaking. So it's a good way to improve your speaking skill. ฉันฟังเพลงและจำเนื้อเพลง I listen to songs and memorize the lyrics. There are a lot of good Thai songs for you to listen. My recommendation would be um, from this singer called uh, Stamp. I don't know if you have heard. You might try to search on YouTube at Stamp in English, like Stamp on a letter. Yeah, Stamp and Thai singer. And I think his song is pretty cool. ฉันหมั่นฝึกฝนทุกวันโดยพูดกับคนในครอบครัวหรือสุนัขที่บ้านถึงแม้ทุกคนจะฟังไม่รู้เรื่องก็ตาม I am persistent in practicing every day by talking to my family or my dogs even though they don't understand me desperate to have to talk to a dog but <laughs> yeah sometimes I talk to my dog as well I think I guess it's normal. จำคำศัพท์โดยใช้ flat card. Remembering words by using flash cards. I think it's pretty convenient because it's more. And on train or on a bus, you can just flip them over and remember words while you're traveling. Thank you for listening. Today we have done ten ways to remember words. So, are you able to remember every sentence I taught you so far? If you don't, then you can watch the video from the start. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Hello, guys. Welcome back. I'm Jay, and today we are going to do top 10 hardest word to pronounce. Let's begin. กรุงเทพมหานคร Bangkok. กรุงเทพมหานคร If you go to Thailand and you hear people talk about Bangkok, they will say กรุงเทพ because like conversation wise, it's easier to to pronounce like that. กรุงเทพ But a longer name is กรุงเทพมหานคร But do you know that the real name of Bangkok is actually the longest city name in the world? Even for Thai, it's very difficult to remember the whole name. So, the whole name of Bangkok is กรุงเทพมหานครอมรรัตนโกสินมหินทรายุทยามหาดีลกพบนพรัตราชธานีบุรีรมอุดมราชนิเวศมหาสถานอมรพิมานอวตารสถิตสกทัติยะวิษณุกรรมประสิทธิ์เย่ It's like I was rapping ข้าวขาว White rice One is like higher than another So ข้าวขาว means white rice The rice that we eat That's called ข้าวขาวข้าว means rice and ขาว means white so together it's like white rice ข้าวขาวควาย buffalo in Thailand there are a lot of buffaloes in rural areas but it looks very different from those in the states like in the states if you are talking about buffaloes it's more of like a bigger like more hairy Like hairy creatures, you see. But Thai bubbles look very different. Like they are hairless, smaller in size. You can see a lot of that in Thailand. ตัดทอน reduce. Actually, the first word ตัด meaning cut is like cut down something. So ตัดทอน means reduce. But it's quite formal. So for me, I don't really use this word. Myself, like personally, I don't really use this word, but you can see it in the um, documents, 
news so ตัดทอน reduce ทฤษฎี theory in Thai is ทฤษฎี okay to tell you a secret even I don't pronounce this word properly when I talk because it's very difficult to pronounce it like correctly in daily life I just say ทฤษฎีทฤษฎี but it's wrong though so the correct way of pronouncing this is ทฤษฎีประพฤติ behave ประพฤติ behave let's practice again ประพฤติประ and then พฤติ like L sound within the word so it's like ประพฤติรุนแรง violent รุนแรง violent the only difficult part is you have to click your tongue when you while you're speaking like R. you can try R. 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 like that and then when you use it when you form a word it would be รุนแรงรุนแรงอร่อย delicious so อร่อยอร่อยอะอร่อย and you say it faster อร่อย but don't confuse this word to what which is a r i for me i have a foreigner friend and i always ask him to pronounce this um, this sentence which is everything is delicious a r i a r i ก็อร่อย a r i is what like whatever you eat is delicious so a r i a r i ก็อร่อยโรงเรียนโรงเรียน school same as what I have taught you so far. So, r sound, r o n g r i a n and say it faster. r o n g r i a n That's school. n g a i easy. n g a i meaning easy. Like thinking of singing, singing the ng sound. You use that sound in front of the word. n g a i n g a i Is it easy? n g a i m a i I don't think it is, <laughs> but it's a good word to learn. Now we are done with the lesson. How many can you actually pronounce? I know it's it's difficult. Even for me, it's difficult. So don't be discouraged by this lesson. Just try practice it. But anyway, okay. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. See you next time. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Thai Weekly Words with me, Prathana. This week we'll be learning words about studying a language, เรียนภาษาคำกริยา verb คำว่าวิ่งเป็นคำกริยา the word to run is a verb คำนาม noun ประธานของประโยคมักเป็นคำนาม the subject of a sentence is usually a noun บทเรียน lesson บทเรียนวันนี้ยากมาก Today's lesson is very difficult. คำถาม question คุณครูถามคำถามกับนักเรียน The teacher asked questions to the students. อ่านออกเสียง to read aloud. การอ่านออกเสียงทำให้จำประโยคได้ to read a sentence aloud helps you remember it. And that's the end for today's Thai weekly words. If you have any comments or questions, please be sure to let us know. And we'll see you in the next Thai weekly words. Bye. Today we're going to talk about four techniques to help you stop translating in your head, and instead start thinking in your target language. This will allow you to have conversations with ease, read smoothly, and better understand native speakers. These are four methods to help you think in a new language. Number one, surround yourself with your target language. This way, you'll be completely immersed in the language. Without realizing it, you'll learn pronunciation, sentence structures, grammar, and new vocabulary. Play music in the background while you're cooking, or have a radio station on while you study. Just use one of our endless podcasts available to you. These are easy to listen to in the background while doing other things. Number two, learn through observation. This is how we all learned our native languages as kids. 
words will develop their own meanings that relate better to your target language, rather than meanings that are translated directly. Number three, speak out loud to yourself. Even if you're a little embarrassed, it forces you to listen to how you speak. It makes it much easier to spot simple grammar mistakes. Number four, practice daily. If you practice everything for only one day, you won't retain the information you learned. The brain can realistically only focus for about 30 minutes. So studying a little every day allows you to absorb better. Follow these steps and have patience. You'll soon be able to achieve your language learning goals. Just make sure to remember these four methods. Sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. And start learning more every day. You've decided to study a new language, so now what? Well, you want to become fluent fast, right? Here are the top five shortcuts to learning a language. Number one, create a study schedule and set some goals. Many language learners are unorganized. Creating a schedule allows you to free up time to study consistently. Goals give you motivation and something to strive for. Number two, make it fun. If you learn how to make your study time enjoyable, chances are you'll be more inclined to study. Watch a TV show with subtitles or listen to some music. Number three, find a language partner. This is the best way to improve your conversation skills. It will help you gain fluency even faster and increase confidence when speaking. Number four, use word lists to build up a solid vocabulary. This is a great way to build up your fluency, one word at a time. Luckily, we have all the word lists you need with a range of topics from food to love. Choose whichever language you want to study and go. Number five, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Nothing helps you improve more than correcting your own errors. You're more likely to remember it correctly the next time around. Everyone makes mistakes. Don't be afraid to learn from them. There's no magical way to learn a new language overnight, but doing all of these can really help your learning process. And remember, if you're interested in getting on the fast track to fluency, sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. Start learning now. To master a new language and understand everything as soon as you hear it, to read with just a quick glance and speak smoothly without thinking, you need to review. Here are our top five review tactics. Number one, listen to examples over and over again. By listening closely and often, you start to pick up the rhythm of a language, as well as correct pronunciation from a native speaker. Use our line-by-line -line feature that lets you both listen and read along. Use this tool to practice as much as possible. Number two, Use our voice recording tool to master perfect pronunciation. Record yourself and compare it against the native speaker. If you sound different, then repeat after the native speaker until you're able to match them. Use our voice recording feature, which makes recording super easy. Number three, master your recorded conversations. Record conversations and go over them again and again. Master entire conversations and repeat them line by line. Use any of the dialogues available for download on our website. These come with transcripts of the entire conversation. Number four, use mobile devices to reinforce previously learned conversations. Constant review is the best way to progress in your language studies. Download the recorded dialogue to your mobile device and incorporate it into your music playlist. Quick reviews throughout the day effectively reinforce what you've learned. Number five, read with line-by-line -line notes. Read along with a native speaker to really master pronunciation and natural intonation. You should start slow at first, then slowly increase your speed. Your pronunciation will become more natural. 
you will also see that your ability to understand fluent speakers will greatly increase. You'll be able to improve your communication skills using these five simple review techniques. Increase your understanding of your target language. And remember, if you're interested in getting all these review tools, sign up for your free lifetime account. No credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. And start reviewing more every day. Mm-hmm.